Hi everyone and welcome to this new video for Interaction Kit. Uh, in the last video we had a good look at setting up Interaction Kit within an FPS style game and uh, on this video I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys different types of detection modes, uh, how they differ from each other, how they work etc. And um, so let's just jump right in. Um, on this scene right here we're using a third person style demo uh, with this scene and you can see that where we were using the camera raycast 3d um, detection mode in the last scene which is well suited for first person games and um, even some VR um, this one I feel uh, much better works with third person style games uh, and the way it works isn't the same with the whole um, breakcast through the camera and uh, that's how it figures out interactions. Instead, it uses uh, the algorithm distance and direction 3D. Um, so what basically happens is as I move my character towards an interaction, um, the system is detecting how close I am to the object rather than shooting a raycast to begin with. So uh, initial um, detection happens purely based on distance. Um, and in this case, because I have distance and direction, I need to be, the actual character has to be facing the cube. So if I look away, you can see the interaction goes away. If I look at it, you can see it comes back. Now, if I use distance 3D only, um, it's very similar to distance and direction, except I don't need to face it either. The only thing that it, it's mainly tracking at this point is the distance between the character and the interaction. Now, once it finds that, um, let me turn it back to distance and direction. So um, once you find uh, an interaction, what then happens is ray casts are then fired between the character and the interaction. So if I go over uh, into the view over here, you can see me running in the scene view. And if I go towards the character, you can see that line is now representing the raycast. Um, but the initial detection doesn't happen through raycast. It actually happens through um, finding the distance between the character and the closest interaction. And once it finds that, then it um, can, then it kind of figures out, okay, can we actually see this through our um, block raycasts and uh, the raycast system? So, um, yeah, so you can see it's a quite a different algorithm, but it works great in these kinds of games. As you can see in this detection mode, uh, it's asking for a couple of new things. Uh, the first one that you might have noticed is the interaction angle. And the interaction angle is uh, the angle you have to be within in order to make the interaction work. So if, uh, if I'm facing this over here, and if we use a very, very small interaction angle, you can see that I can't actually pick it up. That angle is too, too narrow. And uh, this is a very kind of tight angle. So if you imagine, um, it's a kind of threshold of the angle you need to be facing in order for um, this interaction to be able to become active. Uh, typically speaking, a nice 90 degree angle um, gives you lots of uh, freedom to uh, activate things without it being too kind of annoying to the player, I think. I think bigger angles tend to be better in this case. And uh, the second thing that's different is the find custom object by name. Now the, the custom object in this case is um, the object you will be tracking from. So the detection mode is going to need this object in order to figure out how close this object is to the other things. And it also uses this object in order to shoot out its ray casts as well. So in almost every case, uh, it's going to be your player which in this scene is called the third person controller, but it could be, you know, it could just be called player if that's how it is set up in your game. Um, but yeah, that's how it all works in this case. So um, I hope this 
kind of explains how the distance and distance and direction 3D mode works. Um, distance 2D and direction 2D is very similar in fact. So in the 2D distance and direction or distance 2D modes, you can see that um, we have a few more options here. The distance 2D mode, uh, just like the 3D version, totally ignores the uh, player's direction. So no matter which way the player is facing in 2D, if they're near an interaction, it's going to become active for you to trigger. However, if we change to distance and direction, it works just like the 3D version in that you have to be facing the interaction for it to pick up. Now, because it's in 2D, you need to tell Interaction Kit how it can figure out um, which direction your 2D object is facing. So in this case, you have two options. You can use the Sprite Renderer's Flip X or the Local Skill X. And if I kind of uh, let's get over here, I click into our little player character over here. So you can see that as I flip my character left and right, this little checkbox over here is changing to indicate uh, which direction you're using. So if you're using the interaction kit sprite renderer flip X, that's what it's going to check for it to figure out which direction you're facing. Uh, alternatively, you can use local scale X. Some people uh, use a system in which, uh, let me find the player again. Uh, some people use a system in which uh, you kind of make the scale inverted in order to um, to flip the character. And if that's the, the method you're using, uh, you can set it up that way too. Uh, so let's go back to Sprite Renderer Flip X. And because you're using the Sprite Renderer Flip X um, choice in this situation, it's also asking you to tell it the Sprite Renderer, uh, the name of the Sprite Renderer, where it can find it. And in this case, it's the exact same object as the Player 2D demo. So both of those things can be found there. So, um, yeah. There's a couple more references you need to, to set up for the 2D version, but in essence, it works pretty much the same way. Um, and uh, the Raycast will work in exactly the same way when it's trying to figure out distances. Um, so if I kind of go over here, if I choose this terminal, just to give it a quick test to see how Raycast are getting shot over there. You can see we've got a lot of events in this one too. Let's just give it a big uh, interaction distance, activation distance even. So you can see we've got a big red line there because we're getting blocked by this little cliff edge bit. But if we go over here, then the interaction is working as it should. So you can see that uh, in essence, the, the system works in a very consistent way. Uh, even if you're using different types of games and uh, different genres and whatnot. But uh, minus the, the few slight differences um, in having to give it a few more references and stuff like that, it works very, very similar. Um, so yeah, I hope this makes sense. And finally, just to wrap up the last few modes, we did take a look at um, camera raycast 3d in the first video but i want to just quickly um talk about custom raycast 3d which in essence is exactly the same method except you can choose the custom object where normally the first person um raycast 3d system would be using the camera to shoot raycast in this case you can override that and tell it where the ray cast should start from. So it could be the camera, you could make it work in exactly the same way by just um, changing that to main camera. Or you could uh, potentially, if you're doing some kind of VR project, you could have it um, set from a particular eye on the VR headset maybe, or even like the player's finger if you're using some kind of VR touch control. I haven't done much testing on VR yet, um, but in theory it should work and uh, and hopefully you'll find that it works for you 
So I hope all this makes sense and you guys have figured out how all the detection modes work and you can see how this covers pretty much any kind of game, more or less. Uh, so hopefully you guys will um, see the promise in this system and choose to use it in your own projects. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you guys check out the other videos on tech demos and consider making Interaction Kit a part of your projects and workflow. Cheers.